Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're going to validate a form using regular expressions. And to be more precise, we're going to check for a length of the input. For this example, we're going to take the input of the user and we will limit it to be between six and eight characters. Now, I will also show you how to limit it to be precisely, for example, six or five or seven or whatever, or it could be from six, at least six to infinite. Okay, so let me just really quickly show you. We are now currently at, it has to be between six and eight characters. Okay, so let's type in, for example, Laura, and this has now five characters. So if I click on submit, then it prompts me with a alert for inputted username between six and eight characters. So we have only five, one, two, three, four, five. Now let's try Norbert, which has seven characters. So if I click on try again, yay, username accepted. Okay, now let's get into the video. Hey everyone, just a really quick note before we get started with the video. This video is part of my full JavaScript course, so if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I'm also going to leave a coupon code attached to that link so you can get the best price possible. Now on another note, we are now on Patreon, so if you want to support us and supporting our cause for creating this kind of free content, then please consider becoming a Patreon. Okay, so that's enough from your time. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I just created an empty folder and within here, let's create our HTML. Let's create a boilerplate. Let's uh, include, I'm going to use material CSS for this. So we don't have to style anything. Go to materialize.com, click on get started and we're going to copy this CSS link. So click on copy and let's paste it into our head. Boom. Also, let's link up a style file, a CSS style file. So link style.css. Now we need to create this style file. Let's go back into our folder. Let's create here a file style.css. Now let's give this a title of validate length. Okay, now let's go into our body and within the body tags, let's type in a h1 with a class of title and a text of form validation. After that, we're going to create an H2 with also a class of title. And this will be validate length. And after that, we'll have an H4 with a class of title again. And uh, here we'll type enter username, so enter user name. And let's also type in a condition between six to eight characters. I'm missing here H and we have an E too much. And let's end this with end submit. Okay, now let's create our form. So right after our h4 tag, we're going to create a form tag. We're going to leave the action open. We are also going to create an input tag. We're going to leave the type as text. And we're going to give this the ID of username. And let's also give it a placeholder of input your username. Okay, and after this, I'm just going to create another input tag, which will be the submit button. So we need to have here the type of submit. And we're going to give this a class of btn. And this is because I'm using now the materialized classes. So let's open this first of all up with live server. And there we go. Now we still need to style this a bit. So let's go into our CSS file. Now I'm just going to copy in the style because I don't want this video to be about styling. I'm going to go through it a bit very quickly. So we are limiting our body to a max width of 700 pixels. We're going to set the margins auto, which will push everything into the center of the page. We'll have a background of dark color, have free, 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 a color of the text of a gray color, 
Then we're going to set the form to have a max width of 700 pixels and we're going to place it. We're going to place this margins auto in order for it to be in the center again. Now we had that class of title which we assigned to each and every h each and every h tag and as you can see we just limited it to have let's make sure pull our project to the right side of our code editor so we can see it better and close this up okay so we left off with our title class which has a text of text and I have center so everything is centered in the center of the page margin bottom of two rem so each class will have a margin of two rem to the bottom and text shadow now the h1 title we have a text transform of uppercase and the h2 title will have a color of this hash color now the input type of text which we have down here we have a color so if you type something in here we'll have this color again and also a font size of 2 RAM. And the placeholder, as you can see, is grayed. Let me just go back, is grayed out. Okay, and the last thing is this button, the submit button, which has a text, which has a width of 100%. So that's it for the styling. Now let's create a JavaScript file. Let's go back in here. Let's call this main.js. And let's also include it in our HTML. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And also, hit F12 and open up our console. So let's go into our HTML. Let's create our script tag and the source will be main.js. Okay, now we can go back into our JavaScript file and let's first of all grab onto the input of username. So we're going to grab onto this and then the submit button. Okay, so for this we're going to create a const. Let's call this input username. And we're going to assign it document dot get element by ID. We're going to check for the ID, not check, but grab onto the ID of user name. Okay, which is the ID of this input tag. Of this, yeah, of this input tag. Now let's grab on to the submit button, which is also an input tag. So let's go with const. Get another variable of const. Let's call this submit btn. And we're going to grab on from the document. I'm going to use query selector now. I'm going to grab on to the type of button of input, to the tag of input with the type of submit. So we're just going to type in exactly like in CSS type equals submit. Okay. Next up, let's check if we grab them to both of them. So console log input username and submit btn. And if we hit save, we should get both of this input text. So first one and the second one. Excellent. Now we can grab onto the submit button. And let's add an event listener. And we'll listen for a click. So within quotations, we're going to type in here click. And when this click happens, we're going to launch a function, which we'll call string length. As you know, it doesn't matter what we call this function. It just the, the baby just has to have a name. Okay, so let's create this function. Of string length of string length okay we're going to first of all well, when we click on the submit as you can see it refreshes so we need to prevent the default behavior of the form by typing in here prevent default okay so let's go in here and also ask for that event now let's create a let variable. We'll name this field because I want to assign to this field the input dot value. So don't have to type in input dot value when I'm going to use the, the value of the input. And let's also console log this field. So the difference is up here we're console logging the input field, which is this one. And now if I type something in here and click on submit is going to console log the value the, exactly what I typed in here. So if I type in a few numbers, going to console log this. Okay. So now that we're getting the value, let's create a regular expression. So let's say const, let's call this min max length. And we're going to assign it. So let's open up regular expression. Let's create our caret. 
in order for it to match the start of the expression and we will start up with and we will limit it to letters and now comes the important part we're going to limit the range of it to be between six and eight let's say characters and let's also make it caps insensitive so i'm going to close this one up and now let's create an if statement where we're going to check if the field if the file if the if the field dot match we're going to use the match method from regular expressions and we're going to match it to our regular expression which is min max length so remember we assigned this input field we assigned this variable field the value of the input okay so whatever we type in here is going to go in this variable of field and we're going to match this variable field to the regular expression so if this is true then alert a string of username accepted and if it's not true what is this else let's uh, let's alert please input a username between six and eight characters Okay, so let's try this out. So first of all, if I leave it empty, it's going to prompt me with the alert of input between six and eight characters. Okay, now let's try out Laura again. Submit it still isn't correct because we only have five characters in Laura. Let's try Norbert. And this one is not accepted. Now let's try Norbert Laura. And if you type this one in, it still works. Now in order for to limit it, we're going to use the dollar sign back here. Not this one. So also the end should so also the end of the input field must match this. So let's try Laura Norbert again. And if you click on submit, it's going to it's not going to work and it's going to ask me to to remain between the six and eight characters. Okay. Now we could also do something like, let me copy this. And let's say we want to have only six characters. So we're going to take this one out. And hmm. let me change this const to let. So let, and I'm going to take this one out. Now we're changing the regular expression to a let so we can reassign its value. So let's try out Norbert again and it doesn't work because Norbert now has seven letters now if I take out the R now if I take out the T it works if I take out the R and submit it doesn't work so it has to be exactly six letters now how about having at least six letters but ending it with infinite. Now, all we need to do is type in a comma and leave it open. So let's save this. Let's say Norbert. First of all, let's try it. Let's try it if we succeed with Norb. Okay, it doesn't work. We have now the R. Now it works. And T. It works. And let's go crazy and input anything here. And it works okay so it doesn't matter how long it's going to be it's going to work now at the end of this I just want to create a, a empty of field so let's go with field and I'll set it to an empty string so when we finish with this it should empty the string okay so I still want to do a couple of things when we're finished with with our input, I want the text to disappear, so let's clear it out. Let's take the input field value and let's assign it to an empty string. So after we're finished and click submit, it's accepted. The field is going to be empty. And let's just style it a bit. So let's take the submit button. Let's change its value to match, to a string of match. And let's change also its color. Tapping in here, submit button, class list. 
because I created another class when the regular expression is accepted or it's declined. So let's go with toggle. And within here, we're going to type in the class of green. It's going to toggle the green class if the regular expression is accepted. And if it's not accepted, then let's go down here and just going to copy this too. Paste them in here. And let's say if it doesn't match, then we're going to toggle this to red. And within here, we'll type in try again. Okay, so let's try this out. It's empty. Yes. And the value changes to try again. And the color of the submit button changes to red. If it's correct, so let's type in here Norbert. Try again. Username accepted and it's green. Matches. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.